All right, crew, we are back. Cloud Defense have released their Rain 3.0 dual fuel uh, just prior to Christmas. Uh, I did not snag one up. I have a 1.0, and um, shortly after they said they, they, they announced they were going to release the heads. So I wound up snagging up a 3.0 head. With that, there was a little bit of research to find out compatibility. Uh, I did see in the, the comment section on Instagram, at least there were people asking left and right, if their 1.0 switches were compatible. So I actually have a spare switch here, but if you're, get this thing to focus for you here. If you have a dual spring setup, you can see it's kind of hard to tell even with it out, but there's a second spring on the inside. If you have that, that right there is compatible with the 3.0. Um, if you have a single spring, it is not advised and will void warranty um, if you do mount a 3.0 head to a 1.0 body um, or if you have a switch on I guess any other the 2.0 um, that is not advised to do so all of all of the switches I have thankfully were the the two spring version so with that said I went ahead and I did snag up uh, a 3.0 head um, now the difference between this this is a 100,000 candela, 1250 lumens. Um, my original rain one here, if I remember correct, this was 1400 lumens and 60,000 candela. Um, so a pretty big difference. Um, but the main reasons that I went for the 3.0 head to upgrade this uh, was weight now that I have the D-ball on the front as well as the dual fuel which you can actually see on the the head here they list the DF for the the dual fuel so that is that is why I went that route and snagged that up a little bit of weight savings as well as the option to run the CR123 batteries um, aside from that I will be doing hopefully getting some testing in here shortly but I do have I've snagged up a rain 2.0 so we're gonna be able to take a look at the output of and huge shout out to my buddy uh, hoodlums gun bench um, he had this he wasn't too big on the green and I thought this would look good on my Sons of Liberty scalper build with my Geisley green rail um, so I snagged this up. I did snag up a Torrent Offset M-Lock mount, which is the same one that I have on my SBR upper here. Um, but we'll, we'll be doing some comparisons. Uh, I did do a quick overview of the weight on the heads already. And the 2.0 head, shockingly, was lighter. Uh, it did come in at 1.7 ounces. The 3.0 was at two ounces and then the 1.0 actually came in at three ounces so some pretty interesting uh, data there considering I know cloud does push that the the newer lights are lighter so um, I am at some point hoping cloud at one point said they were going to supply replacements for back here to kind of upgrade the the bodies um, so I'm trying to see if they'll send that out too. I'm, I'm very curious to see where the, the weight differences are. Not that that matters too much, but um, as they're making the advancements, it's kind of interesting to, to take a look at what they are changing and what that's done. As well as there are, is a, a new switch out there. This one is the older one, which has, if I remember correct, this is a three inch cable uh, and the new one has a five inch cable. Um, in fact, the 2.0 here, where did I throw that one? Got a couple boxes out in front of me here, guys. Um, but the the 2.0 here has the, the, the newer switch, which has, it doesn't have the ridges the whole way around the switch, so this extra one that you can compare to and you're able to get either style on the cloud site um, but the the newer style the top style there without the ridges the whole way around the button is a longer cable as well so 
This one's already kind of rerouted, but it's a little bit longer for easier, easier housing. And you can place it obviously a little bit further back. So something else to note with, with the different setups. Um, the change, if you are curious about the change in the the switches when they did switch to this, I think they said it was July of, ooh, I'll have to go back and I'll find that date and I'll add it in here. But um, there was a particular manufacturing uh, month that they added in the dual spring. So if you know when you purchased yours, obviously it's easier to, in my opinion, pull it apart and check this to be safe. Um, but I will add a screenshot with the manufacturing date that they're calling out uh, of when they made the change to the dual spring. Um, but a lot of cool stuff in the works. Just ordered a, a bunch of Geisley stuff off of Brownells. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff rolling in that I will be posting up here in the near future. As well as I'm going to hopefully do a rundown with all with both these lights as well as that head the 3.0 head and we'll take a comparison of the light uh, out in a dark field and and see about the reach and it and being able to id out at a certain distance there but i will i will catch you guys later run suppressed stay blessed